Dela Wright, my envies. Welcome. You know, no matter how hard the enemy plan, you know, to bring you down, God will never, ever, ever forsake his own. Now, report making rounds is that a seven-year-old girl fell um, um, into the spirit in Queen Naomi's church when they were having their prophetic prayers or something. And when she fell um, into spirit, I don't know if that's what they call it, and, you know, she started talking. It was almost as if somebody entered her to start speaking, okay? Now, I do know that a lot of people don't believe in this, but I have said um, time and time again, it's okay to believe in what you believe in, but respect all the people's religion and belief system. Now, they said this girl started talking, and the first thing that came out of her mouth was that they are going to um, give, give um, um, Lori Naomi a wedding gown, but the wedding gown will come and will be celebrated as a gift, but anybody who receives it, or if they receive it for her, the enemy's intention is to make that wedding gown Queen Naomi's um, passing gown. You understand what that means, okay? That um, they are going to present Queen Naomi with a wedding gown. But the wedding gown um, is meant to make it, as in, make it Queen Naomi's passing gown, okay? And that that is the plan or the plot of the enemy right now for Olori Naomi. And they said this came from a seven-year-old girl. The girl was um, in, in, in the spirit talking. After that, she started speaking in tongues and all of that. That was the revelation that came on that girl. And that message came directly and so that Nami, because Nami was there, you know, Nami is a prophetess. And they said in her church, um, even though she is the bigger prophetess, there are other smaller ones there who see very well. And from time to time, that they used to have these prophetic prayers in the church. But this time they saw uh, Queen Naomi, and it was a seven-year-old girl who had never, ever been in this kind of situation before, that the Holy Spirit just sprang up and she started talking. Now, I don't know why people are so, they have this audacity where you think that a woman who is serving God as much as Queen Naomi, you can just go and, uh, and plot anything and it will come to pass. For the number of years they have been fighting to get KBSC from Queen Naomi completely, I don't know why they are not surprised that it is even very impossible. It's looking as though it's, it's been very impossible because the more they fight, the closer KBSC gets for, um, to Queen Naomi. Now, everything that they have done, as we are hearing, is being um, to further entrench um, KBSC, the only of effect from Queen Naomi. But everything that is happening every day is looking as if it is bringing them together um, 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 more and bringing them together more and bringing them together more. Yes, this is what this whole thing is looking at, like. And so one would wonder, why is it that these people are not understanding that everything they are doing is, 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 is bringing these people together more? It is because of the fact that everything that is happening between Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi was orchestrated by God. This is not the handiwork of man. If this had been from man, they wouldn't be where they are today. It is true that they are not yet together, but you know that there is, like, I cannot say 100% possibility because I am not them and I am not God, but with the way things are going, there is a likelihood that they end up together again. You do know that the last time Queen Naomi granted an interview, she had mentioned very well that she was now for those of you who keep doubting the situation every day when people talk like um, um a lot of people for somebody like me i will always tell you that these are all alleged information because i can never tell you the first hand information i do not live in the palace with these people i am not related to them okay so if i come here and i tell you the first hand information and tomorrow something happens what am i going to say uh, because i'm not there for sure okay so now, for those of you who, you know, like you keep doubting over and over again. Now, if you have been following the trajectory of, of event um, or following the trend of Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi, you do know that, you know, um, there were times where Queen Naomi said she's no longer a queen and she should never be addressed as a queen, okay? And she started calling herself, there was something she started calling herself. You know, she said that, right? Yeah, she said that. 
shortly after she posted that stuff on Instagram, she was very, very upset. She had a very sour relationship with Oni Ofife at the time. And um, then she now started saying that um, she shouldn't be called a, a queen again, like she was not a, a queen. She was saying that herself. But I don't know if you listened, watched that interview with Messi Johnson. Are you seeing that things have changed very well, drastically? And um, you heard when she said she is still doing her queenly duties and she is a queen. A queen that asked about um, um, her husband. She said, yeah, it's up to him. He he, he likes crowd. Um, um, she, now, I mean, she does not like crowd. Okay. Yeah, but the important thing is that they are both taking very good care of their precious son. Now, with the way she spoke, you see that it is completely different from the way she has been speaking. The other time she had an interview with Punch newspaper, she said she wasn't going back to the palace, that um, there is no way she would go back to the palace, that she was never going to be, you know, um, a square peg on a round hole, hole, trying to fit into a round hole. Now, when you, you know, marry that interview from the other time, and the interview right now, you will see that, you know, something is happening, okay? And that is positive. And so this is what has been going on. Now, with everything that has been going on, it's looking like, you know, before long, everything will find its natural equilibrium. And that is what the enemy would never, ever, ever want to say. Now, if you have been following the trend of events, a lot of us are thinking this is all about the wives. Look, the wives are there. They have, uh, you know, they are using them to fight Ulori Naomi a great deal from what we are hearing, if all the information we keep getting is the truth. But then again, there's something about territorial fight that we have had been explained to us time and time again. They said that is the major issues. And so a lot of, you know, CS and all of that, even men and women of God, I've spoken to Lori Naomi, telling her that this fight is going to continue, but she is going to win. And they have also made it known to everyone, even the royal family, that no matter what happens, Naomi is going to be the last woman standing. But it's just that for people like us who love Naomi so much, want to see her, you know, reunite with her husband and start running things with her husband again. And so this is what this is all about. So they said this girl, now the small girl, Failed and started talking that they are going to present Queen Naomi with a wedding gown. But the mission of the people who present that wedding gown to Queen Naomi is for them to use it as her passing out gown and not for a wedding. It's not, that dress is not meant for any celebration. It's meant for a celebration of sto um, a sorrow, God forbid. And that will never, ever be the portion of Ulori Naomi because she has never done anything wrong to deserve that. And this is how... You know, people are wicked, um, but we cannot be surprised because the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. Because what has Naomi done to deserve this kind of thought process from anybody? It's just that one thing that rules them is envy. They are so envious of Queen Naomi, they cannot imagine why um, a girl... Um, with no pedigree according to them, will be in this position, will be chosen, will be loved so much by the monarch. And that is the biggest thing. And so they said that was what happened. And there was prayers when this thing happened in church. Everybody was surprised as to how far people can go to try and run Olori Naomi. Now, they say that um, um, this has got everything to do with the wedding. They do not want the wedding to hold. They just want everything. And they are so, so upset that uh, things are where they are right now. Um, um, they had thought that everything will be done by now. Nobody will be going through what people are going through right now. But, you know, to the glory of God, things are quite better. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.